Okay, guys, here you go. Remember, remember the story we talked about yesterday about uh, getting rear-ended, right? And then how you see it happening, and when you see it happening, you have to make a decision. You need to live with the, de uh, uh, the decision that you make. But picture this. How many of you have ridden in the back seat in the last 30 days? All of you. How many of you went to the trunk and opened it up to see what's in it? Why did you go to see what's in it? Or why did you put something in it? What you always want to do if you are going to ride in the back seat is always go to the trunk and let it open it up because you never want something pointed towards the back seat. What do we put in the trunks? Tennis rackets, golf clubs, lacrosse sticks. Help me out. Hockey sticks. Hockey sticks. If it's pointed towards the back seat and this car gets rear-ended, guess where it goes? It becomes the spears right through you. So you never put something pointed in the back seat. You always set it the long ways. If you were in this back seat right here, your back would probably actually be broke, all right? Because you are held in, in a seat belt. That, that inside is all the way into the seat. And that's how vicious rear ends come. And then that is why you guys, when you're riding in a car and you see that driver getting distracted, you have to be a better rider and you have to tell that driver to get focused because whose life's in their hands? yours and it's okay if it's your mom or your dad it's okay to say hey you know what you probably should pay a little bit more attention to my life back here